Back here on the MLB pregame show, first pitch just a few moments away as Dan Plezak and I get you ready for baseball under the lights with the Topps Player Spotlight. The Dude Gerald. Okay, we're looking forward to this one. Lineups and first pitch on the show coming up next. We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Miami Marlins and the Atlanta Braves. The Braves have won five games in a row. They'll look for number six right after this. The dude, Gerald, gets the starting assignment for the Braves. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Boy, this guy was unbelievably good in his last one. Struck out a ton of guys in an amazing performance, and all of his pitches were working. Let's hope he brings that A game back with him in this one. Digging in, Juan Sedeno, and we are set for baseball here this evening. The short stop. Number Nobody five. Here, no outs. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Aye. In there at the knees, strike one. Well, boys, these Braves, as they take the field here tonight, they come in after another good win last time out that ran their record to start the season to a perfect 5-0. Yeah, First Maddie, day. this team's coming Number together 11. right now. They're playing dangerous baseball. You can tell the look in their eye. They feel good about where they're at. They've won a few games in a row, and they look to continue that trend today. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Hey, all right. Here we go now. Now a swing and a miss on the slider as the leadoff man is set down on strikes to open up the ball game. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead in the count 0 2 and then start working outside the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. Standing in now, Mario Anaya as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Here we go, guys. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. Swung on and missed, that's strike two. And set up working the plate is Matthew Ross as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Well, d -Row, you better be ready to swing. With Matt Ross behind the dish, big zone. Yeah, you know coming into this one, you better pull the trigger. If something's close, Matt Ross is going to punch your ticket. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Again, another foul ball. One out, nobody on. Hit on the ground to third. He's right there. And there's out number two. And here's how the visiting Miami Marlins will line up in this one. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Well, Matt, I think the cleanup hitter might be the difference in this game. He walked away with the Silver Slugger Award for third baseman last year by putting up some impressive numbers. And I'll tell you what, I think he's got a great chance to win it again. That is hey, two out. The first and one. the plate now, Antonio Chavez. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 1. Two out, nobody on. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. And now the Braves will step up for their first opportunity to score. 
second inning set to go and that'll give way to the third baseman Jason Bolich. Ready with the first pitch here it comes. Lifted the other way out to left center left fielder giving chase he gets there and makes the play for the first out. Into the box now, Sam Netzel looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. And here is strike one call to the 37 year old veteran up there. Nothing and one. One out. You got one. One, one, one. Grounded back up the middle, scooped up. And there are two away now. Hey, that's a great job right there. Knowing he had time to collect himself, I love the internal clock right there. Didn't rush it, took the extra step, gathered himself, and threw a bolt to first base. Standing in, Steven Cavedo. He was hitless in the shutout last night. Steven Cavedo. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss on the slider, oh, nothing in one. Hey, we got two here. No score here as we play inning number two. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind, nothing in two. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. One, two, three, go the Marlins. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Digging in. Lawrence Lucas. Chance to cash in here and don't be surprised if he does. Certainly known as one of the best clutch hitters in the sport today. guys let's go here's the first pitch to him whoa, sent whoa, on whoa. the ground out to second throw to first oh. in time and the leadoff man is gone to start the third coming to the plate now rich napier he'll get to take his first cuts here rich. napier now the pitch. Good slider there, and he gets ahead of him. Nothing in one. Good knuckle curve, and he's got him behind 0-2. Hey, get him yourself right here. Let's go. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Well, he's really locked in at this point in the game on the bump. So far this inning, four pitches and two outs. Got the first guy on one pitch, and then absolutely dominates this at bat with a three-pitch strikeout. Batting nine, the pitcher. Rolando. Into the box now, Nieves. Rolando Nieves, as he'll take a change up here for strike one. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Be down here. The wind up and the 0 1. Third inning, no score to this point. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over. Miami down in order. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Digging in now, the dude, Gerald, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Gerald. Here it comes. Hey. 
hit hard on the ground to second. He's got it. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Now to the plate, Juan Cedeno. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Hey, plays the first, plays the first. One and one to the Marlins leadoff hitter. Here's the pitch. 1-1 one, one pitch is one a slider that's cut yeah. on and missed for strike two. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. One, one, this one. is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. And he'll step oh. on first himself for the out. Stepping into the box, Mario Anaya. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And he gets ahead with a screwball that's in there for strike one. Heading out towards shallow right. Smith in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. Ready now for the Marlins, Antonio Chavez. The first baseman, number 33, Antonio Chavez. First pitch on its way. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly oh, in the hole 0-2. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late, and you can't even put a good swing on it. Here's the 0-2. Grounder down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. One, one, oh, one. that grounder got him. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first, and that'll put an end to the inning. One, two, three, go the Marlins. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. New inning set to get underway, and next, the dangerous power threat, Jason Bolich. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Swing and a oh, miss. It's 0 and 2. Interested to see what the pitcher goes to now. After hey, getting that late hack on the curveball, does he speed him up with some velocity? Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Now batting, right fielder, Sam Stepping Netzel. in now, Sam Netzel. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Pulled toward right center field. Griffin is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Into the box, Stephen Cavedo comes into this at bat, 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Marlins are still on the lookout for their first hit of the ball game. Here's a late swing no and a miss, strike two. Down 0-2, maybe simplify the game plan right here. Get on the heater, even though he has five weapons to go to. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. 
Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. 15 up, 15 down to start the ball game. Home half of the fifth coming up, and we still have no score. So in now is the Atlanta pitcher, the dude, Gerald. The, the dude, Gerald. Let's go now, one time. Here's the first pitch to him. Line toward right center. And the pitcher's Make got the himself a base it. hit. Hey, way to drive that hey you nice talk rip. about having a game right here. This guy's working on a no-no. Any mixed in a knock. How would you like to be on the mound knowing you got more hits than the opposition? You haven't given up anything yet. Ready now for that. another shot now. Our Armando Barrios. Armando Barrios. Heading out towards shallow right. Netzel will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Two left for Atlanta. Sixth inning coming up, still zip, zip. So striding forward now, Lawrence for Lucas. 0 for 1 for him here in this hey, one. No He's ready. Lucas. Here's the first offering. Yeah. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here 0 and 1. And it's quickly 0 and 2. And another foul ball. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Hey, we got one out right here. Now batting, catcher, Rich. All right, come on Napier. now. Napier. Into the box, Rich Napier. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. It's put in play to the right side of the infield. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow! When the guy in the mound is working on a no-no this late, every play is exciting and stressful for the fielders. We'll see if they can continue making the plays behind him. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the Marlins, Rolando the Nieves. Rolando Nieves. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's the circle change and a dandy that time as he jumps ahead with strike one. I mean, this offense has struggled because they haven't hey, been able to make now. the adjustment. He stayed staunch on the outer half, and these guys have not worked the ball the other way. Hey, we need a strikeout right here. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit. Miami down in order. And this is still a nothing-nothing ball game. Ready now. Juan Cedeno already the beginning of the seventh inning here as this game has had a very brisk pace to it so far. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. At the ball. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, 
when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. That evens it up one and one. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he could continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. Well, it's been a rough series for him at the plate so far. That's four strikeouts in the first two games. So this pitching staff clearly has him figured out. Now at the plate, Mario Anaya. He flew out in his last at bat. First offering on its way. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw gets him, two down. In now, Antonio Chavez. Now batting the first baseman, Antonio Chavez. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey! A great job pounding his own strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, gotta get ahead. Count leverage is a must. And he falls behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he struck him out to retire the side. So he's through seven complete, still working on a masterpiece. One, two, three, go the Marlins. They trail it here two to nothing. Now at the plate, the dude, Gerald. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned the chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. First pitch coming. Here it is. 1-0. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left-handers begin to stir. Now the 1-0. Get your pitch, drive it right now. Well, somebody's and sitting off speed right this. here only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Get down, get on down. a line, that's a there base hit. Make the turn, make the turn. Yeah, yeah, great job right he there. He came he to play today. Sucker. Not just only on the bump right there. He's thrown the ball well, but on the offensive side of the ball, he's able to contribute and help this offense put itself in position to score some more runs. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Armando Barrios. Armando Barrios. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him. Well, I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch get to him. He wanted it, but he didn't get the call. But I love how he didn't let it affect him. And he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but in. Ready to begin the eighth. And He's set to go ball. is the third baseman, the third base. Jason Bolich. First pitch coming. Ball Here ball. it is. Ball one. And that misses for ball one. Eight. And he takes a cold strike one. Here we go, fellas. One ball, go. one strike. A ball and two strikes now. It's one and two. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Hey. The one two.
A swing and a ground ball to third. Fielded cleanly. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Boy, this is an absolute gift to them, especially when they've had so much trouble getting anybody on base. So now the leadoff hitter is aboard and might be looking to run. They've got to do whatever they can to get some offense going. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And digging in is the outfielder, Sam Netzel. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Offensive game plan needs to change right here. They need to get a little bit more aggressive. It's too late to try and work counts. A ball and a strike. That one looked one like one. it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1. But now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. From the belt, kicks and deals. One ball. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. And he struck him out for the first out of the inning, but perhaps more importantly, he's five outs away now. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right, but what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. Now batting, the center fielder. To the plate now, Steven, Steven Cavedo. Ah, he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 and 1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. The 0-2 delivery. Hit two, down two, the two. line at first. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. Got him. Four outs away from his date with history. We're getting into the nitty-gritty. That's the second out of the eighth inning, and the pitcher needs only four more outs for a no-hitter. James Shipp right will come on to please. pinch hit here in a big spot. For Miami. Number 12, James Shipp. Hey, come on, guys. Hey, two outs, one away. That one's down around the knees, one. taken for a strike. Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. Bolich, the runner at first with two gone. Down the third baseline. Oh, it takes a nasty hop, and he's unable to haul it in. Eat it, eat it. No runner, no runner. Oh, so close. But with one swing of the bat, the no-hit bid ends here with two out in the eighth. Still a remarkable pitching performance nonetheless. Oh, it sure is, Matty V. Boy, you get that part of the game as a pitcher into the eighth inning. It's hard That's not to look Marvel. past getting that last out Detective. thinking about the ninth hey. D-Row, but they made him pay here with two outs in the eighth. Yeah, he's thrown the ball so good, Dan. He's worked all, si all sides, in and out, up, down, all quadrants covered. Be two interesting to see if he toes the slab in the ninth or if they hand this over to the bullpen. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot hey, now, two. hitting with two strikes. Two. Now the 0-2 pitch. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. Marlon Strand a pair. They're still down. It's 2-0. Striding in, Henry Stanford. But as a reliever, I'm not even sure he'll get the chance Henry. to swing the bat. Stanford. Go out. Oh. 
Plays it first now. Outfield comes way in here. The first pitch. Hey! Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Good breaking ball right there. Good hard slider. The count now 0-2. He's getting deep into the outing, but his slider is still staying sharp. He doesn't look at all like he's starting to tire. He looks as good now as he did early on in the game. One, this is on the ground one. over to first. Scooped up, and he'll take oh, this yeah, to the bag yeah, himself. Awesome. One gone here in the ninth. Stepping up to the plate, Juan Cedeno. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got a bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. Circle change in a beauty. It's 0-2. Hey, we got one. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter, and it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. The left standing in now, Mario Anaya. As he'll swing and send a chopper out to second. Reined in. Go to first. He'll be in time to get him. And the Braves make it six straight victories now as this one is over. Hey, not many pitchers can brag about throwing a one-hit complete game. So hats off for him. But as a pitcher, I know he's going to wonder, like, what might have been. So close to a no-hitter, but it wasn't meant to be. That's baseball for you. And tonight's ends as a 3-0 shutout win. The Atlanta Braves wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. The dude, Gerald, takes the win on the mound his second of the year as he tosses a complete game one-hitter. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Watney, and our entire